Hey everyone, it's Rob with Ship Our Wedding. Today we're going to be transforming a wedding as you see behind me. You don't have any drapery set up yet. We're going to go ahead and do a very simple, beautiful DIY look for you today. To drape this whole room, we're going to take you through it step by step. The draping goes up approximately 10 feet tall. All you do is set it, drape it, and raise it. So let's go ahead and show you how this is done. This to this. Very simple, a DIY setup you could do with a couple of people. We're going to show you how easy it is to get the same look. So we'll go ahead and watch our video and ship our wedding. We'll show you how this is done. So the first step is going to be to drop all of your crossbars like this. And then as we're going around, you'll notice we have some heavy base places to lower the center of gravity and act as a ballast through any ways, which is egress, entrances for vendors, you have catering staff, grand entrance ways, things like that, hallways. You wanna make sure it's a safe structure. So we're going around, we're dropping all of the crossbars like you see like this. As we're dropping the crossbars, we also have all of the base plates getting dropped too. So the next step is we're gonna follow behind and we're gonna put in the uprights into our base plates and start forming the skeleton, which is gonna be the base plates, the uprights, and the crossbar that connects to it. So now the next step is go ahead and take the uprights, put them in the base plates, and you'll see that as we're going around, we're taking, we're putting the uprights directly into these base plates. Take your crossbars and click them into the uprights like this. One on the left side, one on the right side, and you're gonna keep doing this around for the whole room. This is called building your skeleton. So now we have the skeleton put together, which is going to be the upright crossbar, upright the bases. We're going to take our fabric, we're going to throw it over just like this. The fabric doesn't have a full pocket in it, which is really nice. We can get more creative with the drapery. So this crossbar right here, we're probably going to do about six pieces of fabric. Once you throw it over, it's very important that you make sure you have even amounts on the left and also on the right side. You want to be mindful when you're using the fabric too, and you don't put it in a puddle or any dirt. You want to make sure your venue's already cleaned off. Because this fabric will be elevated, you want to make sure it looks nice when we create the backdrop for the photos. So one more time, we're going to take the fabric, we're throw it over just like we said and we're going to do this like we've seen right here for the rest of the room. We have our fabric up on the crossbars. Next step is to go ahead and pleat the fabric. Get that nice full look. Very simple. You reach in, you're going to grab an edge. You want to overlap the hardware like that and you're just going to cat claw like this. Very tight to the term I know. You're going to find the other piece underneath and you're just going to keep doing that all the way across. We're going to take this piece, overlap it, cat claw it over here. Find the edge, reach underneath, grab it, going with it, just like that. Same thing here. Once we find the edge, overlap it. And then after we get all the pieces overlapped, that's when we go back here, we finalize, and we get that nice full look. We have to go through a couple times, just like that. So now it's getting closer, we're just gonna go through one more time on the spar, because it is a little longer. The spar is longer than 10 feet long, but typically you wanna work in 10 foot lengths. The reason why is because it's easy math for your setup. So if you're working with a room that's, let's say, 40 by 80, and you know you only need four crossbars on one wall and eight on the other. Perfect. So we're going to continue this for the rest of the draping. So now we have everything completed. The next thing we want to think about is where the door is going to be. Your guests are going to walk through entrances, catering staff, vendors. So we want to make sure we swag back those openings so that guests can make their way through. So right here, this is the doorway. So you can kind of walk through and disappear. I'm going to come back on this side because I'm going to show you how we're going to swag this back. We have two pieces overlapped. We're gonna take a zip tie. So you wanna put in here, Josh. We're gonna take the zip tie. We're gonna go over both pieces just like this. The zip tie, and we're gonna run this towards the back. Out of sight, out of mind. There you go. And you'll notice this is centered on the door. If you go ahead and take some steps back, you'll see this is centered right here. So we have four pieces. We have one here, one here, one here, and we have the other one. Our goal now is to go ahead and swag back all the openings before we raise it, because once we raise it, that's when we're gonna pull it back to the side. So the fabric's all pleated. We're now gonna raise this up. So that's good, CJ. Take it up a little bit more, Josh. Actually, that's good. Now, CJ, you're gonna go to the next one. There you go. So basically, you, you see kind of what we're doing here. We're getting a system going on. Uh, Josh Moore, Josh Moore, CJ Moore, CJ Moore. Good. Let's play Leapfrog. Yeah. The reason why we don't want to take it up too high is because in this fabric and all your pleats will start to come out. You don't want that happening, so we're just gonna take it up high enough. More, CJ Moore. Good, good. Josh, good. Let's go to the next one, gentlemen. Keep it going. Nice. And so you'll see that we already have the door pulled back here, so this is ready to get raised up. And we're gonna do this for all of the drapery in the room, all the way around. We have all of our uprights raised to the same height, so as it starts spanning around, you'll see the fabric is separated, it's pulled back, it's kind of twisted a little bit. So the next step that we have to do is called finalizing. So as I come over here, you'll see that we already started finalizing. So finalizing is very simple. We just lift it up, we put it down, make sure the fabric is not folded over. It wants to look nice and clean and straight. We're gonna do this for every piece of fabric that we have here in the room. A couple other things too you'll see on these doorways, they're not attached at the top. The main reason why is typically when you do draping, you're gonna be in a banquet hall, you're gonna be in a closed space. So nice, I love these tables with the lilac, the white, the gold, the 
looks so nice. All right, anyway, back to the draping. This is typically gonna be attached to the top and pulled back like this. But the issue is that they don't have any air conditioning in this building. So we're using Mother Nature. We have, well, that's not really Mother Nature. So we're using fans in here to go ahead and generate wind to help out. But what this does, this creates a high-low pressure when you have doors open and the pressure wants to equalize. That creates wind. When you create wind, the drapes don't cooperate. So we don't want this to be attached at the top. We might get a surprise with the fabric wanting to do something that we do not want to have happen. So because we want this to be a safe structure, this is separated at the top. We spoke to the client about it. We just took this and just kind of wrapped it around here. This way it will not catch in the wind. We did the same thing also to that side that you see over there. We're about to go ahead and wrap that. So right now we're putting our finishing touches on the room. We're finalizing it. You can see that we have a team member going this way. We also have somebody else going this way. So a couple things we do recommend with your setup to have a couple people. If you're going to be draping a room like this, you want to set aside a couple hours with three people. It can be done faster. You can take your time with it, depending on how much of a hurry that you're in. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this video and if you have any ideas for what we should post in our next video. You'll notice right here the pleats are missing. I'm not tall enough to reach this, obviously, but I do have a pressure crossbar. I'm going to use this as a hand, and we're just going to come in here and just pull it back like this. Those nice pleats that we need, make sure your fabric stays overlapped like this. Voila. And that's how you fix fabric that's up in the air. This is the doorway we were talking about earlier. We already have it raised, pleated. It's pulled back. We did that first. The next step we have to do is swag this open for the introduction because this is where guests of the brown party will make their way to the actual reception. Very simple. I'm just going to take it, according to my hand, like this, bring it all the way to the hardware, which is the upright. Once we have it, we want to make sure we wrap it around because we don't want to have anything exposed. And then I'm going to take this pipe cleaner, which is doubled up. Just go ahead and tighten it. You can go ahead and see what I'm doing here, just like that. There we go. Take it, lift it a little bit so it looks nice and full. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and do the same for the other side. So already have a doubled up pipe cleaner. This could also be a zip tie. Pipe cleaners are nice because they're really easy to remove at the end of the night. So we're going to take this, same thing, pull this off to the hardware. Most importantly, you want to make sure that this is the same height. That looks good. Now you'll notice in here, the drapery is starting to go ahead and open up, and we don't want that. Very easy way to fix that is to take this fabric and give it a little lift like that. Situation averted. So now if you look here at the bottom, you'll see that we have the fabric. We have to go ahead and tuck this. Once again, just think of making a Hershey kiss with it. It's also great because we can use this to hide the base plates that you see at the bottom. And we're going to do the same for the other side. I'm going to pull this fabric out. Just make sure you hide that. There we go. So this is the draped doorway that we have pulled back for the introduction. Let's go through this way. Let's go ahead and take the camera and flip it around. You'll see what they see from the actual guest point of view. Spin this around, boom, just like that. There is a drapery. You walk in, you have the doorway draped. You have the whole hall draped just like that. So if you need help with this look, Ship Our Wedding provides nationwide DIY event rentals. If you need help with draping more than 10 feet, your order will ship free. It'll arrive two days prior. Includes everything you need to get a similar look. Feel free to click on the top right corner of this video for a direct access to how to get straight drapery. You want to make sure that you reserve enough linear feet to cover your space. You can also change the color of your draping. In the drop down, you can view a photo of what that'll look like in the sample thumbnail. So once again, thanks for watching and take care. Watch more videos above. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in our next video.